Good morning, Chatty Chatters. Welcome back and good to see you all here. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in Raptoria and it's a great day to have you back. Welcome. All right, we're going to get started in a little bit with the firmament. I might mispronounce that a few times, but anyway, I do owe chat some awesome giveaways. So I'm going to drop a key right now for V Rising, which chat unlocked yesterday during one of our streams for yet another giveaway. And uh, every time we hit 500 likes, I'm dropping keys for everybody in the Discord. Everybody can subscribe for free. Everybody can smash like for free. So why not do a giveaway for everybody for free? Uh, you might have V Rising already. It had that Gloomrot update that just came out yesterday. But if you don't have it, drop it a key right now in the Discord, in the general chat. Links down below in the description. Boom. There it is. All right. Enjoy. Okay. So a little bit of news. First of all, um, here is Firmament. And we're going to take a look at some of the images and trailer for this game today. And then we're going to go play a little bit of Cyan World's previous game called Abduction. Uh, and the reason why we're doing that is this game releases in about two hours. And the devs have reached out to me and asked me if I were interested in the key. And I, I wanted to play this today, um, but I wanted to play it early. So rather than you know playing it on Steam in two hours... Uh, the devs are going to get back to me and provide a key ASAP. I don't know when that'll be, so we just got to kind of like, you know, sta standing by. So basically, we're going to go play their old game in anticipation for the new game. And as soon as they send a key, we'll go ahead and immediately start playing that one. and Or this one, I should say. So we're going to play an old game. People will be coming into the chat and be like, wait a minute, this is abduction. This isn't ferment. They're right. They're right. But we're only playing that because... We're just basically standing by. We're waiting for them to send a key, and it looks really cool. So welcome. Good to see you all here. Uh, yeah, so the, this game and the games we'll be playing today are from the makers of Myst and Riven. Uh, and I really hope that they remake Riven, too, because Riven's kind of like a direct, well, pretty much a direct sequel to Myst. And uh, although it's not called Myst, it's like a sequel. And then they went on to make like Myst 3 and 4 and stuff. And Myst is really cool. And Cyan did a good job. And I think Firmament... Uh, raised like 1.4 million dollars for its development, so uh, uh, yeah, I think this trailer is actually copyright music, copyrighted music. But we'll we'll just watch this. But uh, basically, what it looks like is, um, you know, I, I don't want to know too much about the story. I want to discover it as we play. But it looks like we get some, you know, like a portal gun. Not really a portal gun, but you know what I mean, like so something from like Half Life or Portal, where you get the uh, some sort of a thing that can interact with objects, possibly manipulate physics or whatnot and use that to solve puzzles and these guys have made some incredible worlds and uh, mist blew everyone's mind back in the 90s it still does still mind-blowing game and uh so this one looks cool too and so we'll take a look at this asap Ooh. oh right i forgot about that uru as well yeah the uru titles and stuff yeah, they've made some really cool, uh, really cool games, and so hopefully this one will be somewhat of the same too. The, the, the gun thing that they give you is really interesting, and it kind of gives me like Bioshock vibes a little bit as to like the whole, yeah, like it, it seems um, not steampunky but like uh, Art Deco in a way. So that's kind of cool. A lot of the machines and stuff seem. Seems steampunk, but like Art Deco kind of together. And that logo, yeah, that just... If that just said Bioshock 4, I'd be like, no way. Are they remaking Bioshock 4? Or I mean, not remaking, but are they making Bioshock 4? Well, let's watch the actual trailer, and then we'll go play Abduction for a little bit, which I've never played before either. That game came out like six years ago or something. Oh god, both of these use the copyright song. All right. Thanks, DMCA, for ruining everybody, everybody's experience in gaming. Thanks. Mystically epic, yeah. This is a common theme in these Myst games, too, are these really cool, like, they use, like, a ball for a, like, a monorail. It's like a track, like a track that goes around the, the world or something like that. But, like, we wake up and get a gun... It's like Doom. You wake up out of bed and get a gun. But it looks like this gun is like... It manipulates objects. This is a whole separate trailer. It looks the same. Did I... Yeah. Looks pretty much the same, but... 
But yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh yeah, it's like what? It's like the same trailer. Did they put like the st the same steam? Tra one minute fifty four seconds. One minute eighteen seconds. All right, I guess this is like a little extendo. This shows a little bit more footage. Yeah, puzzle boss, exactly. There's puzzle bosses in this game. Mist is cool as hell, though. We played that, like, I don't know, the 20th, the 20th uh, Mist remake, or whatever it was, but yeah. We bit, I, I beat Mist for, like, the first time ever, like, on my own recently. So I've, I'm very excited to see, like, Riven remade and anything else coming out from Scion Worlds. And since I never played... Um, Abduction, I guess we're going to go play that right now. Alright, Abduction also is available on the Epic Game Store, I think for free? Apparently I had it, so uh, I must have downloaded it for free at some point. It must have been like a free offer. You know, like Epic gives free games all the time, so use code Raptoria at checkout. Anyway, we're going to go play Abduction for a little bit while we wait. While we stand by. Yeah, that game looks pretty. Firmament absolutely looks gorgeous, and I want to see what the hell... Oh, also, that game is fully playable in VR, too. Not this game. But now we're playing... Abduction. And Abduction, of course, is... Uh, God, it's playing the trailer again. Okay, and of course, I don't think abduction is VR, but uh, firmament is. Fir fir firmament? However, however you pronounce that one, who knows. Uh, Alright, so yeah. We're probably not going to get too far into this one before they send over a key. Or uh, the new one. Okay, let's play. So I, I think also Abduction is the... I, is this the last game that came out from these guys? From Cyan Worlds? I think this was like six years ago. So they've been working on Firmament for a long time. They probably like did maybe a year of support on Abduction. To, you know, update it, add new stuff or whatever. But I don't think they made anything else. Uh, free Roam or... I don't know why character shadows on or off. I, it's fine. More options and settings. Oh, really? Backer reward display. Int glance subtitles. Mute. All right, cool. Let's go for a little bit. This is cool, too. I think I remember this game and uh, a whole nother one, too. Uh, what was the puzzle game where you had to like draw like in wa like giant waffles and you'd have to draw like lines through the waffles? Does anyone remember that one? Oh wow. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Fam and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that last time light. Whoa. Wait a minute. Isn't that the island from uh, Days Gone where you go and like there's like the um, whatever militia something county militia That game's called Life Under the Dome The one where you're like with waffles and you're painting That's I don't where know. all of our new stories No one in chat knows? Streaked across the sky Mesmerized but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. 
Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you were all smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, yet attraction. As we approached the group, it approached us. You all remember, there was no turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully. It's like a strawberry. Spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because well, it, it saved us and it us. Cool. Wait, a moment ago we were in like Montana or Wyoming with the Chutes County Militia. <laughs> and now we're in Arizona. Wow, that was a hell of a flight. Oh man. Game's already cool. Welcome to Hoonrath. Hello. Bonjour. Ciao, hola, hello, shora, ni hao. Welcome to Hunrat. My name is Josef. I am the mayor here. You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. But let me reassure you, everything yeah. will be fine. You're not the first to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. Okay, thank you, sir. White picket fence. Oh, there's like a minecart trail here. Wait, this is like the house from High on Life that just gets, like, teleported to the alien world. Oh. Oh. Here. I don't know. 
Just be careful. I've got to go. See you soon. And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find Hunter at the a decent place. Man, the internet connection in this place sucks. This must be, like, obviously a Comcast neighborhood. Like, even here in, like, the distant void, Comcast is still an internet provider, and it still sucks. Uh, warning, do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it's been disabled. Okay, well, we can't go in the house. I guess we'll go this way. Nope, we will not. <clears throat> we will not be going that way, nope. Comcast, we aim to suck at your expense. So true. The big kitty. Wait a minute. They mentioned eighty three and like eighteen seventy, so this This house must be like teleported from the future, I'm guessing, because of the asphalt. I mean that looks kinda modern. But that it got teleported into this western town? But even this western town was, like, teleported to the void. So it's like the house was teleported onto this place, which was teleported here. Wherever this is. What's this? The tree. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrad for as long as anyone can remember. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse cell we live in, our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Mm. Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. What's up, Ken? So this tree provides... Random seeds? I want to see the tree. Heavy security at the tree. You want me to chop, uh, chop it down when more wood is needed? Good idea. Could bring that with us to V Rising. Hey, what's up, Ken C? Hello, chat. Welcome. Good to see you all here. Westworld, yeah. Again, just to remind everyone, we're playing Abduction now as we wait to get a key for Firmament. Uh, that game should be out in about two hours, but the devs did say they were going to send me... They, were, they basically asked, like, hey, are you interested in... Playing Firmament? I'm like, oh yeah, hell yeah. I love Mist, so I want to give that game a try. Yeah, so we're just, we're just standing by. Which is why the stream was a little later than usual. Because as we were about to go live, they sent an email, so I'm like, oh good. And then I was like, well, I don't want to wait till noon, because that's when I'm playing um, V Rising, so I was like, oh, I'll play... Um, their previous game, this, while we wait for the key for the new game. There's a light, but I can't interact with it. Windmill detected, yep. Yeah.
Lily the dog. So some things seem like they're from the 1800s, but that TV tray and couch look like they're from the 80s. Oh, this is the downtown. We have a healthy, thriving community here, as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you, and some actually were born here. We all feel we are part of the whole. Yeah, his accent sounds like Hungarian or Romanian. Uh, did the game give something to base on? Um, no, everything everything right now is a mystery aside from like subtle environmental clues. The game looks great though. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm not getting close to that. Yeah, we're doing a little abduction while we wait, exactly. Oh, space bar, like, takes a picture? Oh, that guy is Robin Miller, the original Sirius from Mist. Oh, really? Yeah, one of the sons, the blue book and the red book. Nice. Of course, uh, the blue book went on to rate automobiles. And the red book went on to uh, start communism. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how, although the entire system is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process, which we one day hope to understand. Either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. Oh, it's a different guy who's serious? Okay. Well, I do like how, um, like the original, the story of Mist is so fascinating how, like, I think there was a story about how they had two offices around town and they were like f FedExing. What they were doing from the original Mist is somebody was like designing the images of Mist on like a computer. Because it, it wasn't like a 3D world, it was all pre rendered. So they were taking all those pre rendered images and like having to drive them across town to another computer to render them or something like that. Because the internet was so bad back then that even a normal photo. It was just. It was. Email and like sending images was just way too slow and not good, so they would just drive stuff across town. Something like that. But Cyan is like, uh, it's almost like the, um, the Williams. Uh, what's his name in Roberta Williams with the whole King's Quest things? Like, those guys are just, that's just those are just champs. Okay, that seems to connect to a mechanism there. Oh my god, they're... Oh, this is just the Death Star. Well, that's Alderaan. It's just a low-powered Alderaan. Or a Death Star. Okay, I don't know what that does.
There's like a ramp there, another lever. Okay, it looks like we might be able to get up. We'll follow the rails for a bit and go back to the left. Or not. Well, the garden looks like it's in bad shape. Uh, the rocket ship from Mist. Uh, did I go back in there? I oh yeah, I think I did, right? Nope. Now it's blocked anyway. I'm watching my email like a hawk chat, so we can play Firmament as soon as possible. I'm going to try to go through the crazy blue laser. Alright, I did it. Alright, so definitely a puzzle here. With the junction. Ooh, all the water. It's a doorbell. This is so beautifully done. Carf and Mofang battle. I love how it's supposed to be a window, but it's like a missed cutscene from the books. Damn it. I love that they kept all that stuff in. That's so damn good. No, yeah, we're not playing Firmament just yet. I, the devs are sending me a key. They were like, hey, uh, you know, the embargo's up. If you're interested in a key, let us know. And I'm like, hell yes. Because, like, they were going to give it to me before it was available before noon. And it's like, well, that's perfect because later today I'm going to play V Rising, so... I want to play it now. Give me. Alright, I don't know who that guy is, but he wants us to turn the power on. But I hope it's not like, would you kindly. Yeah, Robin and Rand Miller. Those are the guys behind Mist. And they did the act acting in Mist, too, for the... the guys have missed the blue book red book and the I guess the the like the white page book or whatever basically it was like the father and then the two brothers oh damn I love oh that's so cool they they like explain how it works by using the power from the water wheel to run a transmission that's amazing Visual storytelling at its best. That's gorgeous.
So it looks like this waterfall is shut down. Okay. Oh, and now we can't use the elevator. Okay. So we might have to find another way down. The hell? I can't walk any further. Oh boy. So that's like the dead end of this protective bubble around this place. Damn it, this game's cool. Why didn't I play this? Chat, there's got to be at least like a hundred games that you and I and everybody else kind of rem remembered but didn't get a chance to play. Look at the detail. Looks amazing. Yeah, they, remember this is Abduction, the older game, but I mean... Well, the cool thing is we could compare their last big project, which was this, to their next big project, which releases today. Can I put my face in there? Okay, don't know what that is or what it's doing. Can't drop down. Now, apparently from what uh, I received an email from the devs for Firmament that said that that game takes about 15 to 20 hours to complete. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of those games where like if you get stuck on all the puzzles and stuff and it takes you a while to figure things out, that's good because the longer it takes you, the more you get to be in that world and explore. All right, well, I don't think there's any way down. Without going back down the elevator. You took PTO tomorrow, so you know what you'll be doing this weekend. Oh, good. Yeah, I have this game. It must have been free on Epic Game Store. I'm playing this via Epic right now. And it must have been free, because I don't remember buying it. Oh, it's stuck now? Oh, now it's stuck. Uh-oh. All right, well, we've encountered our first puzzle, then. Maybe the elevator just can't come back up. So, yeah, we can't go that way because of the shield. So let's try the elevator. I don't think it'll work, but let's try. Maybe the force of gravity will bring it back down. It does. We just can't go back up. Hey, do you have any pizza? He's in there doing something. Well, let's see. That blue light's coming from the house.
Oh, I didn't know I could interact with that. Trying to lift something up out of the middle. Looks like these are all made from car parts. Like that's a plane piston, and they, these are like shock ex or, or axles or something. From like a plane or a car. For the landing gear. That did something. Ah, uh, the flow of the water made it turn. So that kind of acted like a rudder to turn it. Okay. Simple puzzle. Damn, this is pretty. I don't think this is playable in VR, this one, is it? This would have been damn fine if they made it for VR. They would have had to have kept updating it, though, for all the new VR stuff. Hmm. So that's how we get up there as a stairwell. Could be a shortcut to come back down. What's up, Matt? This is a must-buy for me. You love the Myth series? Yeah, we're playing Abduction right now, which is their old game from about six years ago or so. Uh, as I'm waiting for the devs to send a key for the new game. I, I hope it's soon, because I don't... I like this game so far, but I want to make sure the majority of the stream is about that. But it's their release day, so they could be busy. So we'll, we'll just be patient. Oh, this game is tagged as being playable on the Oculus Rift? Okay. They were out here... camping. Ooh. Was this an amusement park ride? Oh, they were using motorcycles to turn some... Oh, this is genius. Like a railroad... Car park? Wow. So they were building stuff out of trains and planes? The hell? Well, there's all the power lines. This is a meteorite or something? Whoa. That's cool. You're not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. 
I agree with that. Well, we got a bunch of train cars here. And a red pipe. Let's follow that red pipe. Oh. <laughs> That's a reference to the first Mist game right there. When you had to... Uh, it was like the, the map with the dock and you had to like do something with the water pump to get the elevator to work. And you had to like redire redirect the flow of water. Fuel empty. Okay. Caution fueled rain. Four forty volts output. So they were using this to store fuel? No, they were probably pumping fuel to this. water or well what I think is fuel so I think this make okay So that's fuel drain. So that must get rid of the fuel. So we want that up so it goes in and then up into the tank. And maybe turn this on so it can accept it. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if I'm turning this thing the right way. I can't even see the... Hmm. Oh, I think we're, we're, I think we're blocking this path, so it should go that way now. Okay. Maybe that's it. I like how some of these puzzles are just trial and error with, like, physics a little bit. Hey, now we're full. Brother, that's just your American locomotive diesel right there. That's your uh, EC69420-80081. Uh, 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 3569858. Yep. There we go. All right, well, now we're producing electricity. So where does this go? Oh. I didn't realize we were doing the electricity thing. Town, CW, tower, sphere, tunnel, scrap, garage, and ramp. And then some sort of a red line, and then Farley. Maybe the red line is to the grid. Maybe it's this power cable from the train, maybe. Well, we powered the sphere now.
tower sounds interesting. But are we actually supplying it with power? This is the is this the garage? goes the water. Hmm. Hell is this thing? like a mine over here oh there we go tunnels maybe oh we got a code sag uh what was the number on the house 14 something it was like an address on the white picket fenced house Looks like we can get into it from there. Might be the road signs. Oh, good thinking. Yeah, maybe. More of that purple stuff. Can't go out there. The house was 1464. Okay. That's probably like a 5% chance that might work. Doubt it though. Yeah. Good thinking though. Is there a... Okay. This might go to the tower. Somewhere? No, it's just those two. Okay. Uh, so we went to the tunnel. We tried to go to the tower. That way's blocked. Let's go this way. All those weird buoys. There's a crane to get up there, too. This must be the scrapyard. Who the hell were they trying to keep out? Is there a way we can, like... Oh, there is. Oh. Okay, I was wondering, like, all right. What's the camera for? Well, there. You take pictures of stuff that might be evidence or clues or whatever. So if you need to remember something for later, you can do that. It 
So the only thing not powered is the garage and the ramp in the town. Okay, well we could go back to that guy. Maybe he has a clue for us. Or wait, let's check the sphere. Hmm. Am I a God of War fan? Yeah, I think God of War is great. New, uh, the two new recent games were outstanding. Oh, hey, there's power. Oh, maybe we can use that to get up top now. Now, there are stairs that lead out to the sides. Where could that go to? Wait, did we check that door? Enter garage. Uh, the power for that was off, and I, I tried to click on the door. I think this is supposed to lead up to somewhere, but we there's nothing really that it connects to. Let's hit it again. Maybe we're supposed to look at something or see something from here. Another God of War coming 2024. Oh, yeah, yeah. PlayStation uh, next week is going to have a big event. I think on the 24th. Uh, we'll do a live stream of that. And they might cover a uh, spin-off. Of... Uh of a uh, Atreyu, I think. Hey, wait a minute, look. Or Atreus. Oh, I thought there was a way to look out. That'll be cool, though. Always down for uh, more games, you know? Okay, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing with the sphere. I'll hit the button one more time and see what happens, but... Not sure how to use that just yet. Alright, we can chat with that guy. Maybe, maybe we did what we were supposed to first. Town doesn't have power though. The green light was off, but maybe he'll maybe he'll say something more now that we at least completed the objective of turning on the power. Oh, good. what CW means. At least they did. I suppose you gotta move on. But, alright, well, if you ain't assessed already, we're all living within a, a large cell. It's a dome, 
Yep. Okay, Red Beam is next, apparently. You missed the Starship Trooper stream? What did I think of it? I thought it was great. I had a lot of fun with the boys. And so we'll be playing that again tonight, just to experience it more. It's certainly early access, but for $25, it's a, a very fun... but repetitive shooter, but, you know... Aren't all shooters repetitive? Red beam. Is this like shooting down? Like, is that what's creating the dome or what the hell? I don't know. Well, I can't, can't get back up there and do anything with the red beam. Well, wait a minute. You did say power is on, so... Aha. Oh, what the hell? That's a weird train. Oh, they're transporting, like, uh, metal plates around? That looks like it's part of the alien technology in that sphere. Mofang. That's the name of the aliens, possibly? So they were trading with the aliens, some sort of weird technology. There's a video camera there. So were they trying to recreate video technology? Oh, 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 there's stuff to read. Wait, let's start at the top. Uh, CW, please change Farley's lock code to secure the vault. Her address backwards should suffice. Ah, so it's the house number in reverse. Uh, regards, uh, Joseph, what's his name? Jameson? Oh, Jansen, Mayor Jansen. Okay, so we know the code now to some vault, wherever that is. Lockdown list. Lock uh, tree gate, lock Farley's house, lock tower... Uh, 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 lower tower, upper tower, uh, lift minecart into workroom, turn, oh, we gotta do all these things in reverse, uh, turn on, reminder, something, this is a bear free environment, oh boy, uh, turn on the mowing disabler, shut garage door, pump water from tree roots, turn on imager rocks, Close swing bridge, divert river, turn off power, activate the dome disabler. We gotta do all these things in reverse to unlock the lockdown. Villian technology notes from Apar. 
Designed to disable anything based on Morang technology. Disable blue beam within 1.5 uh, feet of any device. Physically collapse, reassembly if possible, but not trivial. It's not harmful. Still not pointing it at my head. Ruka has not been told the villains provided it. Okay, I don't know. Can I take a picture of the documents? I suppose I could. But I kind of remember what they want. That was more docks. Oh, wait a minute. They're making a hologram of rock somewhere, so there's like an invisible wall somewhere that we can walk through. Uh, mayor's requests. Okay. So they're making fake images to something. Entry Canyon, Farley's house, center of town. The tree. Oh, the tree is fake? Water source, waterfall? Membrane wall or cell, the wall tower, locomotive power generator, scrapyard garage. Maybe. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm not touching this book. We're going into mist. Hmm. That'll probably turn that off. Oh, it destroys it. Okay, so we gotta aim blue stuff at red stuff and make it dead. Okay. Let me just check my email chat so we can play Firmament. So I'm wondering if uh, in Firmament, the, the, apparently the weapon that you get in that, or like the gun, seems to be like these blue lasers. They probably don't have much to do with each other, but I'm sure there's subtle nods and like... references to mist in all the other games well it's been over an hour they haven't replied hmm oh what is this thing oh barbecue hell yeah brother yeah just leave uh, paper on machinery that'll be fine uh, battery capacitor log Big O battery. What's up, Seth? Charging a battery or using battery power now? Let's go this way. A tasty power generator.
Hartnell Mining Co. Water. Well, it's going to the tree. Oh. Conveniently, the bridge is broke. I don't see anything changing with the tree. Hey, what's up, Steph? Looking forward to trying this game out since I supported their Kickstarter. Yeah, so we're playing, just so everybody's uh, clear, we are playing their older game right now. This is uh, Abduction uh, from a while ago as we wait to get a key for Firmament. They sent me an email this morning and they were like, hey, our game's coming out. Uh, and the em embargo's up. Like, if you want a key, let us know. And I'm like, yeah, please. And uh, usually they reply right away. And it, it wasn't like an automated email. It was like from an actual like person. So I replied and said, like, please give me a key as soon as possible. Like, I, I would love to. I'd love to play. So, but I never played this game either. So this is completely new to me, and uh, I'm loving it. Uh, Raptor, is it pre-installed without a key or still need to download? No, I'll need to download it. They haven't sent me a key yet. Uh, but Abduction that I'm playing now is... Uh, I must have got this free on the Epic Game Store when they had like a free giveaway like probably years ago. Because I, I don't even remember how I got this game. I mean, I didn't buy it, so that's got to be the only other conclusion. Alright, so we turned on the capacitor... Uh, but we should probably fiddle with that blue beam, huh? But that's probably not going to be able to shoot at that red beam from there. Like water down there. Oh. So we need to bring this thing up or down, maybe? There we go. No, nope, can't go up. Oh. Is this game new? Uh, no, th the game we're playing now is called Abduction and it came out a few years ago. But it's from the exact same developers as Firmament and... Uh, they sent. They said they wanted to send me a key, and so I replied imme like immediately with him, like a minute. And uh, I was hoping that they would have sent one like right away, but uh, we're at their mercy right now. So, but you know, hey, we get to experience uh, this game, which is not bad. But as soon as they send me a key, we'll be the first to to check it out because um, that game's not even out yet. I can't even buy from a mint like on Steam yet. It's not even available. Okay, so we can aim the gun, but how do I push the minecart? So apparently there's like a little gun turret. So they put that on like a minecart. How do I move it? If I can drive it out here, we're good. Yeah, WASD aims the gun. But it doesn't move the car. Can't get to the other side. Oh, there we go. Ooh, hell yeah, brother. So 
So it shoots to the center of the screen. Wait, look, they're displaying that on like, it's literally like a garbage bag that's just been stretched across. How the hell are they doing that? All right, we're gonna have to think about this one a little bit. Um, you guys think maybe we pull it forward, throw the switch, and then back it up? Do you think that would work? I'm gonna pull forward a little bit. Yeah, we're using a glad bag as a TV screen. So now let's back it up. So that way we can go this way. Wait, what? Wait, that doesn't make sense. I guess they simplified how it should work for this game. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I should have did that, actually. Hey, CW, we got a problem, bro. Dominoes. Yeah, the tree. Well, uh, it ain't real. Shoot. It's a central piece. It's connected to everything. The cell wall, the dome, them seeds, the root beneath it, all of it. It's, it's one and the same. One connected. Is it? Malarkey. I did. Where the Jesse was I? The hell? He's he's mentioning a lot of people. Um. Okay. I think we plugged that thing in. But there was also like a cable hanging over the side, so I'm just gonna go check on that. This game is badass. Folks, if we don't, if Firmament doesn't give me access to that game today, 
I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll play this through the whole time and I'll change the title and the thumbnail afterwards because I can't I can't predict the future so I don't know if they're gonna send one before or not uh, but if we don't get access to firmament today we will play it as soon as they give me a key I'm hoping that we'll get one any moment but if that doesn't happen this game is a good time so I think he I think we did what he asked which was plugging this in but there's a cable hanging here That appears unplugged. I don't know if there's any significance to that, but... I think he meant that. Okay, so... Um, so we need to get under the tree. So we did turn on the water for the tree. Can we move these things? Too heavy. Oh, you think the power cable connects to the tree? Hmm. Could be. Um, I don't see any cable on the ground or on the bridge. Uh, we could use the train a lot more, though. So now we can actually get the train out of there and go wherever. So let's plan out our route. So before we drive around, which that thing is slow, let's figure out where we can go. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh. Uh, that boulder could be fake. We might be able to use the laser to shoot through that. Or those. Yeah, the big battery is where we went up to, um... Where I closed the hatch on that thing with the, the, the like, giant cable sitting next to it. I think we already did that. We might even be able to pull up here. Oh, that's fake. There it is. That's where we should go. That is totally fake. All right, let's go get the address for the house. So he said what? The number the number for a vault is in reverse? So that's 6341. So 6341, there was a door. Do you guys remember where that door was with the keypad on it? Was that near the gas station? Anyway, you guys remember that number. I'm going to need you to remember that. It was behind the trains? Okay. Can we open this? No. Alright, so we need to drive out and let's plan the route. It needs to go right. And then we go this way. We can stay right. Ah, oh, then we're going to be facing the wrong way though. So then we're going to have to back out. Okay, so we're going to have to back out to the right. So we'll be in reverse. Wait, these are... F these are also fake. But we'll be in reverse. So I'd be reverse facing this way. Damn it. Unless there's some way for that thing to shoot that distance. Uh, this could be a dead end, but let's give it a try.
This probably won't work. Worst case scenario, we'll just use the vault. <laughs> we'll go to the vault and use that code in reverse. That should work. Yeah, it's got a limited range, that's what I suspected. And I'm not shooting at the right rocks, but regardless, now we know there's a range. Okay, um... Hmm. Vex in here. Hmm. What about shooting that red shard? Uh, it could have something to do with it. I think it's just a... Uh, it's just a video, though. It's just kind of like a recording. Well, I could... I could try to back it up this way and then aim it to the left. That might work. Let's try that. For as cool as this game is, I really want to see what they do with uh, Firmament. This is just making this weight torturous. What is that thing? Oh, beer. <laughs> it's beer bottles and stuff. Got it. It worked. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we can drive the train through. To the house. just happened was that all fake that kind of scared me just a hologram wait we're above the waterfall and stuff now We, like, teleported to the other side of the map, but now we're up above the waterfall. What the hell? So, so that leads all the way over there. Wow. So we could bring the train up here now. could shoot a laser through there, maybe. 
This is definitely gonna be all part of the yeah, yeah, exactly. We're we're playing Void Train now, yeah. Looks like a hologram thing there too, maybe. We could pull up to the door, then back out again and bring it down here. But we would die to death. Uh, I don't know, boys. I think we should bring the train through and shoot some of these uh, beams. Let's see what these things are all about. Oh wait, it brings us somewhere else. I don't want to go through there. Oh, this is really neat. Am I a Metal Gear Solid fan? I am. I am very excited to see the Sony event. No. There's a lot of wind blowing through there. Alright, we're gonna bring the train. Dead gum pew pew. Man, no reply yet from the developers. Come on, boys. I want to play your good game. I'm sure it's going to be great. Yeah, there's rumors of a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm waiting for the Sony event, because... I'm sure it'll happen, but I gotta, like... <clears throat> I gotta have, pr you know, proof. When Kojima walks out on stage... It's either Death Str I mean, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's my, it's gonna be mind blowing. It's either more Death Stranding two stuff. That's got to be both. There's no way he could show up and not talk about both. Uh, I think we want to go right. Nothing in the spam box. No, no. I mean, I'll check. Let me check. No, but there are cool new games in there, though. Usually I check that on the daily anyway. Death Stranding 1 is free on Epic right now? Oh, really? You think they're watching me on stream and waiting me f for me to finish this one first? Oh, come on. No way. Well, at this rate, Firmament comes out in about, like, uh, an hour. But that's got not going to be enough time between the release of Firmament and my next stream to, like, cover that game. Worst case scenario, again, we'll play Firmament tomorrow if that's what happens. Tomorrow morning. But it's not going to come to that. We're going to... Any second now, the devs are going to message. Do we want to go up there? Or did I want to go left? Oh, I can't go left. Well, we can go left, but left here.
Okay, so we can't shoot things on the other side. This one seems like it's on this side, though. I guess that's where the electricity comes from. Izonzo had an update too? Cool. Well, if the train goes back, it's going to have to go back the same way. It's probably going to be needed, but we're going to have to come back here later. Zork Remastered? I don't remember that one. Hmm. Something to do with the wind here, too. Alright. We see what happens if we go down here. I don't see anything to shoot from here. Western Empire. Got to be something to it to back it up here. Could be misleading. Does this game have a mist feel? Yeah. I'm pretty sure any games made by these guys have that mist feel. I was trying to figure out earlier what the heck that uh, name of that game was that has the... Um, there's like a bunch of, they look like waffles and you're supposed to draw lines to connect them and there's like a cable that goes across the map. I don't remember the name of that game and I don't know if that's from them. Let's see what happens if we try to drive off. There was a second rock where these ones I can't shoot. There's like two there and one there. I can't shoot any of those. They're like on the other side of the force field. Well, that's weird. Oh. We might be able to pull up here and shoot through the door. Although I have no idea where we are now, or if the train can even get here. This is new. Oh, this is by the house. Near the other fake rock. Oh, man. I don't know how to turn the... I don't know how to turn it around. Oh, you mean that rock was fake? Yeah. I was going to shoot at that one, but I couldn't get an angle on it.
and uh all right brother we're gonna back it all up now brother amen Yeah, exactly. This is like when the uh, coyote paints a fake tunnel for the Roadrunner. And he just runs around it. I'm doubtful the house is even real. Nightingale? I, I don't think I've heard of that one. It, Okay. There's rocks over there that we might be able to shoot, but I don't know if I can get over there with the train. Oh yeah, we can definitely hit that. Oh no. It's out of range. We gotta get closer. Did I clear it? No. Oh, I did. Okay. Interesting. Oh, damn, you guys doing moonshining back here? Hell yeah, brother. What y'all making? Uh, something. Cr crash site? Oh, boy, so much to read. Oh, yeah, literally a crash site. And there's a plane here. Gardena County Airport. So it's like a speakeasy. They were making whiskey back here. Oh my god, there's music. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like Tiki Torch stuff. Oh, damn, there's different settings for the bar. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Game of the year. Six years ago. Uh, Perils of the Sea. Oh, these are recipes. Purple mushroom juice. Gold tummy buster. Might have to make one of these. I haven't seen these ingredients yet. That's interesting. This is a perfect sphere. So whatever grabbed this plane, it was the plane was probably in midair and it grabbed it and like teleported it here. Well, that explains where the propeller came from on that sleuth sluice gate. Must have came from this plane and some of the parts too.
Yeah, like in Terminator, exactly. Uh, is there anything we can use from here? This can't just be like a meme. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see... Oh, this is a map of those spheres. These must, maybe these are the train cars that got pulled in. So some of these are like above ground, below ground. Maybe, maybe that's the train, maybe. Part of the town, maybe. They're trying to plot out, like, what areas were pulled to this weird other area. That's cool as hell, man. Yeah, the Twilight Zone, indeed. Okay, anything up here? Not really, but you know what? Now we have the train facing the opposite direction, don't we? Maybe in here? Oh, this is where that gray rock is. I don't think we can get that one out of the way. Oh. So we wouldn't be able to go through there. Yeah, looks like it's the same material as the sphere. I think what's happening is like it's... <clears throat> you know, it's like exchanging, like... Whatever that rock was got teleported somewhere else, and whatever rock was there got teleported here, so it's like a perfect sphere. Well, let's go down the road and find out what we can do the other way. Yeah, this game's cool. This is a lot more open than I thought it would be. Honestly, I, I thought a game like this would just be... And I, this is what I'm hoping for Firmament as well, where it's like a lot more open, where you can... You know, obviously there's puzzles that block your way, but it doesn't feel like you're roadblocked. It feels like open. Even though, you know, even though we're blocked, and it's not as open as you think. Okay, so there's a tunnel here, but that's the other side of that one that's blocked. And this door is blocked. I bet we couldn't plow through that. So if we go straight down there, I mean, let's see if it's even worth our time. Sure is. So we're going behind the waterfall, boys. That might actually get us down. Oh my, chat. That's where secrets are in games. Behind waterfalls. So wait. Um, am I going to be able to reverse out of here though? Apparently we can just set it that way and it works.
Maybe you can push it, but just one way. Isn't there an axle in the middle? Um, I don't know. We need to switch this one, though. Yeah, I think they call that a, a kick switch. This doesn't even seem narrow gauge. This seems like... This is like minecart. Yeah, we're playing abduction right now. Uh, the developers wrote me an email this morning saying, Hey, uh, if you want to play Firmament, uh, we're going to give you a key. Do you want one? And I'm like, hell yeah. And I'm... I was waiting for them to respond, and, like, I responded right away because I wanted to play it, you know, before it comes out in, like, a, well, at this point, like, 30 minutes, so I was like, oh, guys, let's play Abduction until, like, Firmament comes out. Uh, I've never played this game before either, so it's all new to me. But I was hoping that they would respond right away, like, it, I, I wrote them an email, like, Im immediately back, and let me just check. Yeah, it says, missed... Mist Dev's steampunk puzzle adventure Firmament launches today. And basic basically it's a, you know it's a bunch of e details about the game and like a little gif of showing some of the scenes, links to their like YouTube channel where it shows the launch trailer, press kit, steam page, etc. And then it says uh, the game will take about 15 to 20 hours to complete. We have Steam codes available. If you're interested in checking out Firmament and haven't already requested one, please do let me know. Uh, if you did, if you did already receive one, I can confirm the coverage embargo is now up, so you're free to make, uh, to stream and upload content. To which I replied literally within like one minute, and I was like, "Yeah, you know, please give." And that was like, like two and a half hours ago or something. And now it's launch day, so that you know they're probably busy, but it's like. Uh, I, mean, I replied right away. No, this is their previous game abduction. But I'm just playing. Like, I'll quit the, the moment they send me a key for Firmament. I'll quit this and we'll go play that. But this game's good too. If anything, at least this serves a testament to another game where I never got around to playing it, and I'm just playing it on a whim. And it's like, damn it, why didn't I play this when it came out? You know. So everybody who's excited for Firmament because they played Abduction or Mist or Riven or anything else from Cyan or Cyan Worlds, it's like, well, yeah, I could understand why you're hyped, because time and time and time again, these folks who made games for, like, Windows 95 are now making games in 2023 that are, like, kick-ass and satisfying. Like, whenever you open a door in this game, even if, even if it's not even that complicated of a puzzle, you're like, oh, hell yeah. Like, if there's literally, you know, like an electric switch next to a door that says door locker and you turn it off and it's and then you uh, you know then then it unlocks the door and you're like oh dude that worked you get so, you get so excited at least I do I'm like no way that actually worked I, I don't know if we can reach this from here this thing turns to about what what's the maximum angle on this about 90 degrees Yeah, I, I, I so want to play Firmament, like, right now. Just basing that on this game. Well, I don't think we're going to have the range to open that door. Damn it. In order to get through there, we're going to have to somehow turn around. So how would we do that? Yeah, it says Firmament, but it's not Firmament. Yeah, yeah. Because again, I, we're just playing this. Like, the moment Firmament drops, that's like my main focus today. This is kind of just like a... You know, like a side thing or whatever. We're just playing this like wait. We're just waiting. That's all. 
law. I tried, I tried to jump to see if I could peek over the door. <sighs> this is annoying. I don't, I don't... The way to get through there would be this, and then we could face the right way. Anyway, let's go try that vault code. I'm done with the minecart for a little while. Let's take a break. Let's go try the vault. I don't remember... I don't remember that door. Do you guys remember the code for the vault? I don't even remember where it was. By the sphere, okay. Hmm. It's not this door. got an email, but it's not from them. Damn it. This is turning out to be torture. This is just torture. So it's not the door up top. Is it up here? No, that's like the shortcut across the waterway. Did I see the button on the column? Yeah, that turns the uh, sphere around. Is it, is it through this factory? Oh, here we are. Okay, so it was what? It ends with one, so it's, isn't it like one, four... I know we could have taken a picture, but I'm relying on chat. Why is there a plus symbol? Are we doing math? Okay, uh, what was it? Uh, six? Ooh. No way, we're in the frickin' house. Oh, there's the map. Entry Canyon Cemetery. What 
is that called a bleeder? Rail yard. Fuel supplies. That's the area next to the tree. Hmm. These are like letters from 1800s. People arriving for the first time? The Mofang. <coughs> ah, that's what they look like. The aliens. So there's different species here that they're in this void talking with and trading with and like learning their technology and stuff. Trippy, man. You know what's awesome is that Firmament is going to be like all steampunky, so it's going to be like it's going to be like playing BioShock, but like oh god, a bear. A Kowalski bear. Hello? Bye. 
painting. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet attraction as we approached it. And it approached us. So close. Grandma's telling her stories again. Okay. Uh, this was <laughs> the testimony of Where's Waldo? You found me. Oh, this is an explanation of what's going on. Earth, Soria, some sort of swap. There's a heart to everything. Looks like there's three planet, four planets. Earth, Mofang, and then two others. Uh, one, seed pair. Two, find planets with similar atmospheres. Three, swap. These guys are like hijacking. They're not abducting people, but they're abducting planets. Or at least perhaps the wildlife and the people there. So, something. But maybe to replicate trees and life or something for their atmosphere? I have no idea. What are we looking at there? It looks like the number 15, but... Turn it further. Hmm. So 
Some of them from 2042. Those are like new arrivals. Thanks for all the great content. Well, thanks for watching, man. And thanks, chat, for understanding that, you know, like, I was hoping because I got an email hours ago from the devs that we would get a key right. I thought it would be within minutes, but thank you for understanding and hanging out with me, even though we're playing an older game waiting for the new one. Um, but after the stream, I'll change things to just say abduction, you know, f firmament hype abduction. And then we'll we'll play that uh, maybe tomorrow. It's all good, though, because, like, this is actually interesting, and I, I had no idea this had to do with freaking aliens. Okay, so we've unlocked a shortcut now. I don't know what any of this has to do with anything. Since we have to turn this, it must have something to do with 15 and... Like, is this 1500? Like, 1-5 one and then the big zero zero. But it seems they want us to go to... Somewhere next to the tree, behind the tower. Uh, is this where we are now? There's something called the yard. Is that the house? Oh yeah, oh, the, the, the yard is the train yard. The circle, I think, is where we are now. Right? Because if we walk out, the tree should be to our right. But it's kind of not. Yeah, so the yard is the rail yard. And we had to walk through that door to get here to an area called the wall. I don't know where we go next. Any mail? Oh, there's bills. Uh, to Caroline or whomever else may come back, it's been five years and not a soul's returned. I'm inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet surprisingly, I'm still alive, and that both uh, seemingly perplexes or supreme, supremely su uh, perplexes me and gives me uh, some portion of hope. I've retreated to my vault for protection and had to comp contemplate my options, CW. Oh, so the vault is where that dude is behind the glass. The so CW's is here. Yeah, the battery, the shop, all the little town buildings, the tree. So yeah, we must be here at Harley's. So they want us to go... Oh yeah, yeah, because the, the walkthrough was here. Like the passage is there. So they want us to go somewhere by that tower. You're right, you're right. Yeah, because we had to walk down this way a bit. And something about the number 15 or something. Like we need to get up or down or through here. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce lore. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy.
So we must have to go through here, but I don't... Well, there's electricity. And I can see the lights on. It's a bunch of those blue symbols. Still not sure to what to make of that thing. Alright, so our goal is to somehow get to where that tower is, either uh, up or below it. And now we can fa kind of fast travel through. This is not the new game. Yes, correct. This is, uh, we're playing Abduction at the moment, waiting for Firmament to come out. Uh, isn't the yard where the door with the slot was, you can get in it on the other side. Oh, you mean the, the vault door? Yeah, we went, we went through that now to get through the, the house. And this is kind of that bar area, but... There's not really anything here for us to interact with. Yeah, let's go through the, the portal thing. I can't believe it, Chad. I was... Almost certain that they would reply within a few minutes. Well, good thing I went forward with this stream, though. Otherwise, I'd never played Abduction. Was there a ladder by the vault door? Uh, we can go back and check. I don't even know if they labeled this building on the map. There was storage down below, but... Yeah, Mist, Mist is great. Riven's great as well. And obviously Abduction, very fun now too. I'm liking this a lot. And now, now I just want to play Firmament even more. Oh, here's the cemetery we saw before. Luther Roscoe. Ida. John. Yeah. That leads back to the scrapyard. Oh, huh, what the hell? Beyond the house, there seems to be a pad up high. Maybe something on the right side of the house. Uh, maybe. Yeah, let's take a look at that house. I don't know if I can walk up there. Oh, hold on. A new email. Nah.
All right, let's go back up top. Mm. I think we're back to where we walked to before. Yeah, the little storage depot thing. Do the walls look different on the other side of the hologram walls? Um, I mean, they kind of go to the same places. Okay, we checked left and right around the house. Maybe we can go back. Well, there's a spot back here called the Entry Canyon. Back kind of where we started. Now we know we can go through these, like, portals or whatever. Not really portals, but just like... It's like the edge, but in a different location. Now we're just back up by the train. I did unlock this place, and there's a cave in here that we can clear. We could try to bring the train here. Whether we're facing forward or, or backwards, we can turn it 90 degrees to the left or right, and we should be able to clear that blockage there. But I gotta get it on this track. So we have to go left. Yeah, you can get the train at that main door. I did that before, but you can't, like, the way to get there, the train faces backwards, so I can't do it at the moment. There, I gotta clear some other path, but... Yeah, 90 degrees seems like the right angle to be at. Yeah. Good job, chat. Alright, let's get over there. Hope this is the right way.
Sounded like it worked. Yeah, admit one ticket to ride. Alright, sounded like it worked. And there it is. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Now we're in the shipping area. Oh, there's a bug again. Okay. Oh, it's a whale. Ah. So we have something to get up and down. So they built the scrapyard into like an upper and lower area. I see ways back there too. Hey, now we can open this door for the train, can't we? All right, now we can get the train up here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, you probably did play this before. This is abduction. We're waiting. So, I keep explaining the story, but... Um, I got an email from Cyan Worlds, basically, saying, Hey, Firmament comes out today. Do you want to play it? And I replied immediately to the person who had sent that email. And... I've gotten hundreds of those emails in the past where when I reply to those, within about five minutes they send a key over. So I thought, okay, I'm going to play Firmament and if there's any sort of hiccup, if it takes her 10, 20, 30 minutes, I'll just play Abduction, their previous game for a little bit. Uh, but that was like a couple hours ago. And the game should be dropping like pretty much right now on Steam. So if they don't get back to me, I'll just have to like buy it and give it get it to start now or what we could do is play it tomorrow like a full stream and we'll just keep playing this for a bit what oh there's video cameras oh th oh this is a tally of everything they've got new arrival inventory check-in oh they're taking all the stuff that the new arrivals get and like documenting it and storing it here this is like a contain like a containment area well, I guess it's more of a storage, but... Alright, so if we get the train up here, what's the purpose of the train? You can now turn the train. Right. You're right, because there's a loop here. Yeah, uh, this one came out a couple years ago, and their new one comes out today, too. So if you haven't played Mist in a while, this is from the same makers of that. Can I ride on that? I don't think I can go on that on a ride. Oh, I can. Okay, so we can turn the train around. Turning the train around will get us through the tunnel that's down by the river. Oh, and they were using this to transport items or people. Now we're getting into some interesting territory. Oh, this might have to do with that symbol. I I see what this is, yeah. 
This is where it looked like a 1 5. Free consultation. Hello? Oh. We can choose to power the downtown or the garage. Um, firmament is released. Good. Let me check my, uh, <laughs> well, I got access to a game called Dino Punk, right? A Raptor cyberpunk game. Things. Oh, now we're powering the garage. All right, hold on. It's like a reverse three. What is it? Nah, nah. I don't even know if that's it. What the hell? Okay. This has something to do with that um, projector in the house, but... Uh, drag between blobs to disconnect. The standard panel has five digits, but single digit panels are also used. Oh, it's going to be a more complicated puzzle. Oh, we can connect them. I see. There. That's what we saw in the uh, thingy. All right, that's going to be a much bigger puzzle. Uh, only use first digit to s simulate one digit panel zero to three. The standard panel has five digits. 
I have no idea what we're trying to figure out here yet. I do have some clues, though. The projector screen kind of showed a 15, and then this shows 406. Oh, so in their language, that's what 406 equals. Okay. Yeah, abduction is what we're playing now. Yeah, very, very good so far. Um... I would play Firmament in my midday, but I've already confirmed another stream with another person, so I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to tell them to change their schedule because I didn't get an email back, so I wanted to keep everything up. However, this does mean we get a first look at, at um, Abduction, which is very good and having, having fun with that, and tells everyone that Firmament is out now, too. So, two good games, I guess, that we covered today. Okay, we'll come back to that math puzzle later, but let's do the, um, so, something to do with numbers, and I, I don't feel like reading. Yeah, it's a hype stream. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. And then people could choose to get this game and to get Firmament or whatnot. Hmm. Let me uh, check a backup plan, Chad. I'm going to see if I can, if there's another way where I can check something before I just get it on Steam. However, if I start, if I get Firmament now and we start playing, I only have about an hour and a half and I don't, want to I don't want to give that game just an hour and a half that's like not even fair so what I want to do is we will probably play Firmament if we get it now we'll play it today and tomorrow but definitely tomorrow for sure we'll do both because it seems to be worth our time all right so there's an alien puzzle thing chat I think we should get the train and whip it around and then go through that other tunnel now So it's kind of cool to move across the map. We just have to move to the edge of the map that we can teleport back here. Kind of cool. But hey, check gets to see more games. So I'm not going to complain about that. And I'm assuming the person who emailed me is just very busy today because they're an indie studio. Their game just came out. They're probably, you know, answering questions, doing PR stuff, and probably scrambling to fix any sort of day one bugs, which probably will happen, but... Cyan Games, play slow. Yeah, from the email I got, uh, the person who emailed me said it would be about 15 to 20 hours to complete Firmament, so uh, that's, a, that's a long one. Now wait, if we go through here, does this bring us to the... Oh, that's a dead end. Okay, so we gotta back it up. Uh, Firmament and Abduction, I think, are both on Steam. I, I don't think Abduction is an Epic Game Store exclusive. It might be on Game Pass, question mark? Wait, Firmament's not on Game Pass, is it? No way. Let me just check quickly so I can give out good information who might be curious. No. Wait.
go this way. So then we'll be backing out. And then we want to go this way. You'd ignore this game for some reason? Yeah, me too. I mean, you know, there's uh, honestly, if a game is, you know, five, six years old and you didn't get around to playing it, there's no reason not to play it, you know? If it looks good to you and it's a little older, it doesn't... I mean, a few years isn't bad. It's so one of the things I like about taking flights, where it's like, I get caught up on movies that I just didn't have time for, and for whatever reason, it seems like airlines always get the movies that I missed out on that I'm, I was interested in. They pick, they pick pretty good movies. All the missed games are in a series on Steam? Oh, good. Have I seen Maverick yet? No. And I'm sure that's something that they won't show on a flight. Maverick, Air Force One. Alright, so now we loop around and we go back the way we came. You could never finish Riven? Yeah, Riven was uh, a little tougher than Mist. Oh, something was wrong with your video driver? Oh. I want them to remake Riven, though. Uh, when They've remade Mist plenty of times. Mist is good. But Riven deserves love, too. Because Riven is just like... Mist, but like... Bruh. That's what they should have called it. Mist, bruh. Do I see the snakes in the desert? There are no snakes here. the lever from the train? I'm not sure. We did it. Oh.
Oh. The Soviets are here. Well, part of them. Man, Sean Connery got real lost. So they were using this nuclear sub for power? In addition to that fuel generator from the train, why do they have this? That's cool. guys were messing around with nuclear weapons? Looks like there's a upstairs, but we have to get in through the con, the top of the, the pointy thing at the top. All right, well, let's go back outside then. Well, now I have questions for that guy. Like, hey man, how'd you guys uh, snag a nuclear sub? You can see the sphere here too. Yeah, unfortunately I can't go down there. I couldn't go down there. It's cool and all, but it doesn't really have anything to do with anything until I can get up to the top. All right, we got to find a way up there. Looks like the, the the shop has a little train car on it that's blocking access to that cavern in which the submarine is in. Yeah, there was a crane above, but I didn't have access to controls. Let's make a phone call. Or I mean, you know. You ain't got the horse sense to, to get all the trees and roots connected. And my battery. I connected your battery. I connected your damn battery. Alright, well that was a pretty big development. Getting in there was pretty good, but now I think we gotta do something with that alien suit. Also, we could probably get across there and see what's over there now. 
or again. Or maybe a shortcut. things point towards that damn robot now. Or whatever it is. Whatever the aliens gave us. That's the only thing we kind of have a lead on. Also, we can change the power now. Oh. No. So, so Farley, CW, Tower, Sphere, Junkyard, Bucket, Caves. Any of these blown out? No. So up powers garage, down powers downtown. Four oh six. Oh boy. I think this is what we got to do. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt. All right, chat. I'm gonna need all your collective brain power on this one. Uh, worksheet, multi-purpose villain control panel interface. Uh, this is the control panel that the villain have supplied for us, or for our use. Although they are able to control their system via, uh, what? Some, something calculations, they are provided uh, these control panels for other uh, species to have limited access and control. If you have trouble, please... Something for help? Find Noah? For help? Uh, remember, the villain numbering system has... Is base 4 drag from... Wait. The villain numbering system is base 4. Drag from one blob to another to... Form the digits. Drag between the blobs to disconnect. The standard panel has 5 digits. But single digit panels are also used. Uh, use only first digit to calculate one digit panel, zero to three. All panels will auto correct for invalid entries. Oh, it says vocalizations. Thank you. I could. Some of the writing is like smeared. So we started with that number that looked like 15 on the the board in the house. So we have three numbers, 406, and then we need two more, I think. But I honestly don't know what any of that means. Six six two. The pattern on the paper. Yeah, I don't know what we're trying to type in here, though. It, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm trying to solve the puzzle here, or here. Like now, this gives us an. So I, be, I believe this is a random number generator that wants us to do. 
like two rounds of math in order to d come up with a final number. But like, like if I type a five here, error. This is just a tutorial to help you understand the number of systems. Oh, um, well, one, tutorial failed. Two, ha, I don't know where else to enter this then at the moment. I haven't seen another one of these. How do I disconnect the blobs? It said, but... Drag between blobs to disconnect. So I think they mean like this. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so at this moment, I'm not sure... Like, if this thing gives us a number, I'm not even sure where to use a number from here on out. Like, other than this puzzle right now, I don't even know where we would go next. We, we would need to get upstairs somewhere. There's three kinds of people in this world. Those who can count and those who can't. Okay. Well, that gets you one of these. <sighs> We're getting there, you got this? I mean, I don't even know what... Honestly, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what the next... Uh... Like, I think this thing is going to try to give us this, a combo... Like a number combo, but I don't know of any other uh, locks in the in the game at the moment. So starting with that fifteen that we saw gives us four oh six. Then what the hell does the hell does this mean? Like how how do I calculate this? They they want a number. Copy the pattern on the paper into the display and enter and it reveals the number. Oh. Well, the 15 on that board gave me a number. So I gotta remember 406? Okay. Alright, so this is... Okay, so this screen is the tutorial showing you how it works. But we got one that gave us 15 that was written on that like that slide. We have to draw one by hand. No way. I don't... What? That means we would need a, what, 2, 4, 12-digit passcode? I don't even know of anything else that has uh, numbers in the game. Anyway, remember 406, then. Maybe we can use that somewhere. I'm just not sure where to plug that information in next. Like, if, if that thing gives us something, I'm not sure where to use it. So where, where would we go next? The door appears locked. That guy won't talk to us. Um, it'll apply to a later puzzle. Okay. Where should we go now, chat? Like, where haven't we gone yet? We unlocked the submarine, we got the little code thing kind of, we unlocked the house. There was a circle that wanted us to get like over here. Gate next to water.
Well, actually, before this was a dead end, and I, I, I couldn't go through here. Let's see where this goes. Unless this is around the house. Oh, this is above the waterfall. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. All right, this was good. This was a good place to go. But now we got to close that gate. To get across. Oh, that's how we get up to the tree. So we have to close that gate. So we could close this, then go through the house, and then backtrack. Okay. Alright. This is cool. This is progress. The only count you like is Chocula. Well, you could compulsively count in V-Rising. Then we can go through the house as a shortcut. Then we can lower the stairs. That'll help us to get over here, too. Good. Was that butterflies? Just to be safe. Okay, well, let's go back this way. Uh, does this game have no music at all? Uh, there was some music when we got into the submarine. It seems like when you unlock a new area, it'll play like a little tune. And there are areas that have music, on like a record player or whatnot. Potatoes. I didn't even know a stairwell was here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. Ooh, I haven't been down here, though. Oh, yeah, I have. That's the gate to the tree. Okay. It's been so long since we went through there. I forgot what it looked like. Got all excited. Potato! Sign games are known for their great atmospheric soundtracks. Well, like music plays when you come in here, you know. Okay, so what were we doing? Yeah. Now we gotta go up on the bridge. Then we can go across. Probably puts the stairwell down. 
Cool. Ooh, pretty. We need a six number combination, so that's probably what that robot's used for. We literally need to call the elevator. <laughs> like, we need to know its phone number. I'll call JG Wentworth 877 Cash now. Uh, alright, so. I, yeah, I need a, I need a number. So we have 406, so maybe there's another place where I can get another set of three numbers and then put those two together. 40615. Well, we need six. We need six numbers. Also, I'm not even sure how to dial, like, what the hell number is which? Is that four? Nope. Oh, so this would be zero. One. What the hell's zero then? Okay. Okay, so we need four. Damn it, that's five? Oh yeah, because zero's all the way around. God. There was a number on a pamphlet in the garage. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me type in the beginning of the code. Four. Zero. Six. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hopefully we can call this elevator. So if you're just tuning in, just as a friendly reminder to everybody, we're playing an older game from Cyan Worlds, the maker of Mist and Riven, called Abduction. And uh, earlier today, they sent me an email, and they were like, Hey, Filament's coming out today. Do you want a key? And like within one minute, I replied back, and I was like, Oh, hell yeah. Because back when I replied to that email, I couldn't even buy it on Steam yet. So I replied, and I thought to myself, Okay, we'll go play Abduction for like 10 or 15 minutes or so. And then they'll probably send me a key, and then I'll download that, and I'll keep playing this, and when the download's done, I'll switch to that game. But they haven't replied yet, which is unusual, because I have, that's happened about 100 times where I reply to a developer, and within about 30 minutes or so, they kind of make a reply. So, uh... Wait a minute. Call 155-HELP-YOU. 345-7968. But that's, an, that's a 7 number. We must have to find another symbol somewhere and put it into that uh, into that thing to translate the number. So there was a symbol in the house. Can anyone tip me off as to where the other symbol is so we can go uh, find that? Just so we can keep the train moving. Because I want to keep playing more of this game now. For a little bit. 
Wait, why don't I just call, like, what, what was the number that you would have to dial to get somebody else's, uh... Remember, like, when someone would call you and then you, there was the thing where you could call and it would tell you who called you or whatever? What the hell was that called? What the hell do we call that? Go to the house, the symbol was different. I think it was a one and a five, I'm pretty sure. Star six nine, oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Head back up the stairs and head into the mine shaft. Um there's a lot of stairs and mine shafts, which one? No, we're still waiting, Rachel. Hopefully soon. Well, at this point, what I'll do is we'll probably just play Firmament tomorrow. And since I haven't made a thumbnail uh, for abduction yet, after the stream, I'll make a change. Hmm, I don't know if the license plate have anything to do with it. Anyway, where do we go? I think it has something to do with those those symbols. I mean, it could be these numbers, it's like Min Minnesota, or Florida, you know, like the, the four digits, but actually we need three. Trying to think of where stairs are. There's like ramps, but uh... toss me a clue, chat. Where do we go next? Point me in the right direction. We've been we've been figuring this out pretty good so far. So this symbol was 15 that we used on the robot. I think that gave us one piece of the puzzle. And it looks like that's where that circle points to is where to use it. Because like we walk across the water and there's that area there. Put light on it? Okay. I think I need it. I'm I'm convinced I need a symbol to plug into the machine so it can give us three digits. What's the next step, chat? more than one slide. Ooh, that's a good good observation. Oh ho ho ho. Good job, chatter. Yeah, you're right. I think this is to cue you in though that this is what the this is where you plug it in. This just shows you the pattern, but I kind of already figured that out. Although this is bigger than the one they have you type in. We typed that in and that gave, that gave us the 406. Move it over the map, okay.
Oh my god. This whole world is a frickin' pepperoni pizza? Oh my god. Now the real question is, is it Papa John's, Papa Murphy's, Domino's, Pizza Hut? Look at that. Oh, is it a stuffed crust? Is it a just a regular thin crust? Oh, well, Earth has a molten crust, so it's got to be cheese. Wow, it was pizza the whole time, dude. Oh my god. Chat. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, someone clip that. My software is not working. Thanks. Alright, so it's like, go there. It's telling you to go there and then type this number in on that thingy. So I have the first part of the code, which is 406. So chat, where do I get the other three numbers? Who in chat knows? Where do we get those numbers? I haven't seen anything else. Scotch pattern? No. There's a door on the other side of the river, but we can't open it. I think it's the license plates, but you need to find the state in the mayor's office, which is through the green door. Top of the walkway. What? You're saying I would need a code... You're saying I need a code to get into a room to get the code? Is that what you're saying? But the... Like, I can't do anything with that, though. Like, I need a complete code. Where's the mayor's house? What? You need to find the state in the mayor's office, which is through the green door at the top of the walkway. I mean, we could just look at the... Li I mean, I, I don't know. Is the license plate an actual thing, or are we just guessing? Because, like, I could see it being both. Like, that's a pretty... That's pretty good. That's pretty... Sounds pretty solid. Use 406 on the mayor's office door, which is the door opposite to where the phone dial is. Oh, wait, really? There was a thing up there? Yeah, the number on the mailbox we already used. The house number uh, we used. All right, let's tr let's try that. I didn't see another door. All right. Look at the book of people and find info on the mayor. Well, hold on. One thing at a time. Let's, let's try to go to where the um, upstairs area is. Oh, actually, this might be shorter. This might be a shortcut. So many damn good detectives in chat. Some of you guys need to play Shadows of Doubt. You, I, you would really like Shadows of Doubt.
You doubt that? Yeah, you would. I know you, chat. You would doubt that. Okay, so the 406 code may have been the one to get into the mayor's house. Let's see. So the mayor lives up here? Oh my god, that's a freaking school bus. I didn't even realize that before. Or, no, it's a rail car. Wait, there's no door here. I don't remember where there's any other keypad in the game. Across the bridge. Oh yeah, here's parts of the rail car. Cross the bridge. Oh, that's what that door is for? Alright, another shortcut. The hell? He was making his press conferences here? What the hell is this? America, Japan, and Poland? Or Thailand? Wait. A H B H. I wonder what H means. How did everyone die? Well, some I assume old age. What the hell? A clue to that code has been placed under the direction of our first mayor. I also had him change the upper tower access code. A clue to that code has been placed under the dir direction of our first mayor. Hmm. First mayor. Luther Roscoe? We did see his gravestone. Yep, the license plates are a clue. 
Hey, what's this? Northeast South Ohio. Or may all your doors stay open. The hell? Oh, what's up, Margaret? Just found a teaser for this game at... Oh, yeah. You're thrilled? Good. Yeah, uh, Firmament, we wanted to play today. We're playing the older game at the moment uh, just because we, we tried to get access to it a little earlier and it was giving us trouble. Uh, as in the developers were going to send a key. Long story short, uh, new game we'll play soon. Old game playing now. Uh, but both good, and I'm glad I actually am playing this. What the hell is this? Wait. Under the direction of our first mayor. Oh, a compass. That's what they mean. It said, did that say Arizona? I knew it. We were in Arizona the whole time. That's where we are. So we got to go find a license plate called Arizona. I think that said Roscoe, didn't it? Okay. And this is the door that leads over to the gas station. Yep. All right. All right. We're good. Ah, chat, thank you. Thanks for keeping the train rolling. This is this is a good game, man. I'm, like, enjoying the puzzles and stuff. It's good. It's not even uh, remotely difficult. It's kind of more just, like, wandering. Uh, let's see. So we have... Florida. Wait. Uh oh. Arizona 40 AL9742. What the hell are we going to do with letters? Oh. So it would be one. Wait, would that be six? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Chat, what number of the l alphabet is letter L? Is that 12? Wait, let's go this way. Well, wait. No, let's just go back to the mayor's office. It's faster. So would the code be 1129? We need six digits. control via the phone. L on the phone is five. Oh, you're right. And they give you a clue to that in the garage because of the whole fi five five five, whatever. Call the attorneys thing. You're right, actually. You're right because they put the first. They they put A B C on one, or is it two? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of a phone we're talking about. Oh God! All right, we gotta figure this out. Let's try one five. Or no, it was A, so shouldn't it be two? So let's try two. God, hopefully this is two. Okay, two. Five. 
nine, uh, seven, four, two. New phone, who dis? <laughs> Good job, chat. Yeah, that whole newspaper clipping is what tips you off to that. <laughs> this game's cool. Ooh. Unrath, Murray, Mofang, Captar. Well, are we ordering a pizza? Oh, that's the garage. Someone was spying on somebody. So this has <clears throat> this has to do with the power from the tower. Hmm. I can't interact with anything here. There's also a call button. Oh. Uh-oh. That sends an electric singles, sig electric sexy singles in my area. An electric signal somewhere, for something. Right, let's go back down. Well, you know what's weird is that this button here should call the elevator, so that implies that maybe there's a way to get up here without the elevator. All right, we got to go down into the roots of the tree, right? Let's get to the root of the problem then. Yep, I see a level below. The tree is open. That's cool. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to go down there. That's weird. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's like quick saving. Or like loading a new area. Ah, crap. We're going to have to pay attention to all the uh, hoses and the colors and stuff. Oh, what the hell? Bro, what? Oh, this game just got cooler. Oh, man, what the hell?
All right, so there's all these hoses going to different somethings, portals. Let's call them. The hell they were like powering up the tree. Let's turn on the water. Oh my god, it's making power. The tree produces electricity. is lit. So now we can go back to the tower, maybe? That was one of their things for lockdown, was to, like, shut the tree down, like, take the water away. Oh my god, it's opening portals. No way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where do we go? Green? Blue? What do you guys think? Not the red one. Not the red one. Uh, let's try green. Oh, I can't go through. It might have something to do with the, uh, that tower. Power's still going up. So where does that go? had to provide each of these with like water and electricity all right how do we get out of here can't go through there just yet yeah I tried to go through the portal but then they um it, it won't let me like walk through there's a small switch near the voltimeter does it work um Let's try. I mean, there's a walkie-talkie, and I turned the water on. That was about it. So this is the water coming in, and it goes out to one, two, three, four portals. So there's like green, yellow, red, blue. Oh, hose and portal colors don't match? Okay, maybe they are supposed to. I don't know. Let's, um, let's go back up to that tower. That was interesting. We're just getting started in this game. Imagine how cool Firmament is going to be, where they just come up with all sorts of... That game seems to be like Bioshock, but meets like Portal slash like Half-Life with how some of the puzzles are. I'm not sure if they're all physic physics puzzles, but I hope there's a few of those, plus all sorts of puzzles. Logic puzzles, a little bit of math. Um, okay, what's the easiest way to the mayor's office? Oh, the tree's green now. Oh, wait.
Wait, what? Tree, you were green a second ago. Well, I see electricity going through it, so that's probably fine. It's still on. Yeah, if this has anything to do with like how mist is, this is just a hub area. This whole area that we were in was just like the initial setup, and there's probably like four more maps that are just as complicated like this. Where we can go to four other areas, and it looks like they named them. Poonrath is the hub area. And it looks like there's like... Others. Well, I got the tree back up. Should we go back and talk to the game? Oh. Windrath is now lit up. Let's go talk to that guy. We're going to go talk with C Dubs, our boy. Yeah, the TV shows the gas station, but I don't know why. Um, wait, he's back here. Also, we turned on his battery, so maybe it's getting more power now or something? There's more than one tree? And he keeps telling us to connect his battery. I'm pretty sure we did. Is, is there any way to even read that? The fact that he keeps pushing the battery thing makes me think he's evil. And this battery is bad. Don't something polarity. Okay, well, he told us to go connect more trees, I mean, and we somehow got that meter to move. Oh, 
All right, let's go uh, mayor's office. Check the sub. Um, I need to get to the submarine somehow, but I don't know how. They're pulling a lot of power from this place, man. They got a nuclear sub. They've got like a diesel locomotive. Electric diesel. They got um, this giant tree. What the hell does this guy need all this power for? Is he the one pulling all these like sec sections of earth in or something? Tree is charged up with energy now. Maybe we had to wait until the power maxed out or something. Now we can go through. We'll just try this one. Nope. Well, it's holding at about 5 volts. Well... Could be 5,000 volts, I don't know. Can't go through red, can't go through green. Turn water off, then the portals will stop working. Uh, the one area supplied with power, I think, was just the town. Could there be one more colored portal? We have green, red, blue. green again. Wait, are there only three chambers here? One, two, three. There's blue, and then there's red, and there's green. So we have blue, red, and green. Oh, wait, the tree's getting more power again. What the hell? It started at five. It's going up. Uh, yeah, the hose going up is water coming in from like a water tower outside. So this is water being pumped in. I can't turn off the water again. Every time it peaks, the chain the tree changes color. Oh, you're right. It was green outside, and then it turned red. Oh, my God. That's why the tree was changing color outside. I saw it green, and then it turned red, and then I thought it died. Oh, so this is like a counter. But then how the hell do we... Did it, It's like sending a pulse to that battery? So do I got to go outside, see what the tree color is, and then go to that portal? Oh, my God. This is so cool. Damn it. Note to self, play this game more. Dude, if this game's like this, uh, damn it, now I really want to play for a minute. This whole stream has been torture. For those of you who have wanted to see it, I'm with you. I'm like, damn it. I wish I would have gotten a key earlier because my schedule today, like, like that's why I started, tried to start as early as possible so we could play it, but it wasn't out yet. All right, now we got yellow. Wait, we don't have a yellow one.
Hmm. The only thing we can manipulate now are the portals, the water, and the power. We're diverting power to the battery and talk to that guy already. Yellows for this world? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can go back to the sub, but I can't... I don't think I can get up higher in that area. There might be. Alright, let's do this. We're going to go through the mayor's office again. Something to do with that tree. I mean, obviously. It's like a big portal area. Keep exploring. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, now the tree's green. Oh, that's a different tree. But... So there's something down there. No, this is the other... Yeah, this is the tower. So the, the, there's a door below us that's locked. And that could have something to do with that submarine. Hmm. Uh, maybe back up here again? Oh, I don't think I've gone over here. Oh no, we certainly haven't been over here. <gasps> what the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, yep. We gotta go to the tower. Alright, the tower has something to do with it. Uh, how do we get down there? There's a pathway. No. Damn, there's a way to get out of here, man. It looks like there's stairs there. Wait a minute, isn't this the... Mm, oh, never mind, that's the way to get out of the portal again. Never mind. Go back through the portal and take a right? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's like a broken open sphere. Broken open. Is there an elevator in the mayor's office? Yeah, there is. I don't think I've gone through this particular way before. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. This way is new. So now we're on the other side. Cool. I rem remember passing that earlier. So each time that the portal is kind of, or the sphere, the bubble is separated, then it's, uh, 
it's a different track. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a teleporter? Oh, <laughs> that's cool as hell. What the hell? Oh, no way. Oh, what the hell? I can see Kashyyyk. And right now, we're in, um, whatever the hell the name of that. What the hell? The tree is so misleading. You think to yourself, oh, dude, the tree is the way to go. And then, like, you find this orb, and now we're here on the alien planet? Wow. Time travel? Some sort of travel. Beats the airlines, though. I wonder if we can go back. Oh, yeah. So that's how we go back. We power up that thing and hit the button. Interesting. So we're in a whole different world. That thing powers up and then boom. We're off somewhere else. Well, back, back to where we were, more than likely. Oh my goodness. Alright, folks. We're going to have to play more of Abduction. This game is so damn good, even though it's older, I want to see it. Now, today we didn't get a chance to take a look at uh, Firmament uh, at the start of the stream, as I was hoping. The devs did email me and ask me if I wanted a key and I wanted to play it. Um, if I would have gotten it at any point during the stream, we, we really wouldn't have had enough time to cover that. So I will definitely... Uh, we will be getting into Firmament tomorrow then, and we're going to play through that, and then when we're done with that, we'll come back here and pick up where we left off sometime in the future for this game. So this was, uh, of course, Abduction, which we're going to have to play in the future because it's pretty damn cool. All right, we're going to go on to our next stream, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to start it right now, so hang out here in the chat. And by the way, if everybody watching hits the like button right now on this stream... We will have another giveaway in the Discord. Tons of free giveaways for everybody watching. So I'll see you all in the next stream starting now. Smash the like button. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the super chats and such. And thanks for understanding about the, uh, you know, the devs being busy today and me trying to get a key. But then, like, you know, if I would have started playing midday, we would have ran out of time because we have our next stream. So just think of this as a taste of what Cyan Worlds has to offer. Mist, Riven, you know, obviously Abduction and then firmament which we'll play tomorrow so thank you very much for being being patient and understanding i'll change the thumbnail and the title and all that stuff to reflect that later and then we'll just use the same title and thumbnail tomorrow so if you see this stream again just know it'll be something completely different so thanks for your understanding thanks for the kindness thanks for watching let's go to our next stream let's go